everyone, we're doing another FSD beta video 11.3.4, but this is to test out highway single stack. We are on the highway. This is a section of road that normal autopilot would have kicked in by now, but we're not. We're on FSD and we're going to put it through its paces. And the first thing that we have coming up is an interchange where we have it to get off of this particular highway and then on to another highway. And we will see if this version does any better than the last version. In the past, we had a lot of slow ups and it would have trouble lay merging. Is this version of single stack any better? I would say at first glance here, we just got off and it was a little wobbly. But we do have some slower traffic in front of us. We'll see what happens. In the past, it would just kind of let this lane run out and it appears that it's kind of still doing the same thing. Coming up on an interchange from one highway to another that the previous version of full self-driving, not beta, has never been able to do successfully for whatever reason. Um, it just doesn't seem to want to get over soon enough and it doesn't want to seem to tame the exit um, by itself. Let's see if this new version of single stack version 11 full self-driving gets the job done. We have some oncoming traffic here. It's going to have to get around. Yep. And it didn't do it. So, in that case, it's still, uh, it did still struggling with that particular interchange for whatever reason. Um, should have gotten over. It didn't get over. And I had to break out and I had to do that manually. So, we'll check in on the next thing that we find. Another new feature of this full stack beta is that when you're on the highway and you're getting ready to pass a large truck, one of the complaints that I have is that the car would always hold the center of the lane, which is what it's doing right now. But when you pass a large truck, it's supposed to kind of get over to the other side of the lane that you're in to give yourself maximum space between you and the large truck. And we're getting ready to pass a large truck and we'll see what happens here. We'll see if the car actually does what it says it does to get over to the left side of the lane. We can do that by watching the road and, and watching the screen here. Still in the center. Oh, we're moving. And we have moved over to the left-hand side of the lane. You can definitely see that on the screen and I can see it in front of me. That's actually a nice improvement. It's, we've done a lot of road tripping in this car and there are times where the large truck on the right isn't doing a very good job of staying in the lane and with the car trying to hug the center of the lane and you just get just frankly too close to the other vehicle and you have a tendency to want to break out. Um, but having this go as far to the left as possible, I think that is a positive change in the right direction. Now that we're on single stack, um, there is a one change that I'm not sure that I like, and it is that when you're in town, we all know that FSD changes lanes for you, but when you were on highway mode, you had the option with full self-driving to have it auto change lanes or not. I had that turned off because I found that the car wasn't making choices that I liked. Um, now that we're on full stack, it appears that that's on all the time. Now there is a setting, if I hold the knob here to the right fully, I can say minimal lane changes. I don't know if that turns that function off or not. I guess I'll leave that on for this particular drive and see if it changes lanes or not. Now if I can get around it wanting to head and hang in the left hand side of the road, that would be a, a benefit. But for now, I don't know if I'm comfortable with it actually making all the lane changes on its own on the highway. So we'll see if turning that switch on helps that out. So we're back from our trip and like most highway driving, it can be very boring and uneventful and that's kind of how it's supposed to be. So that's good in general, but there are some things that I liked about the new version 11 and some things that I think need improvement. Let me start with what I like. I like 
that it will get over in the lane when there is a big truck and it isn't locked in the center of the lane. When you're doing a lot of highway driving, some of these truckers will use that center lane marker as more of a guide and not a rule. And it will sometimes want to come over into your lane while you're passing. And being on the left-hand side of that road really helps maximize that space. Another thing that I like is that it does a much better job in reducing your speed when the speed limits change. That's been a gripe of mine in FSD in general, even on the road, is that when you go from a high speed speed limit to a low speed speed limit, it really takes forever to actually get it to drop down in speed. And now it is doing it rather aggressively. And I think this is part of that recall. Now let's talk about the things that I think need to be improved. First off, I already showed you our highway transitions, both on and off. Exiting off of a highway to an exit feels like someone stepping on an escalator for the first time. It, it gets the job done, but man, it's not that pretty and it's a little wobbly. You can definitely tell there's some refinement that needs to happen there. The second complaint I have is not a new complaint, but it's not an improvement with V11, is merging from an on-ramp onto the interstate and it will just basically take that on-ramp until it gets to the end and eventually merge. I wish it was a little more aggressive in picking a lane and, and getting off of that on-ramp as quickly as possible. Now I can live with the automatic lane changing on the highway if it did it right and it seems to do it right most of the time when you're getting from a slow moving traffic to high moving traffic but at no time did the car ever want to get back into the slow lane all by itself. And a lot of people don't like people riding in the fast lane, and I don't either. And this car seems to have a tendency to do that. So in order for me to get over into the right lane, I had to do all of those things manually. I don't know if that was intentional, but uh, it would be nice if it actually went in both directions, if you're going to fully embrace the whole, you know, automatic lane change thing. Another thing that needs to be improving, and I showed this in the video, is that sometimes it doesn't handle tight interchanges very well. It didn't before, and it doesn't do any better now. And that example I showed you, if I hadn't taken over, it actually would have missed the actual exit. Finally, it's a gripe of mine on an old version and, an, and the current version is that when you're coming from a high speed to a hard left-hand turn or right-hand turn and there's an exit lane, but it will start decelerating aggressively before you get to that exit lane, but it won't actually turn on your turn signal until you get into the exit lane. For me, I wish it started signaling the time it started aggressively slowing down. It would be helpful to the person behind you knowing that that's the reason why you're slowing down. Well, that's it. That's my first highway experience with FSD beta version 11 single stack. There's some good, there's some bad, there's room for improvement and I'm confident that it will improve. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, catch you later.